Hey Lego fans, welcome back. Today I've got a nice quick video for you all. I wanted to make a little video just showing you all my current Lego Harry Potter themed collection of Lego sets. Uh, Lego sets that I've started collecting earlier in this year and I'm hoping to grow it onto next year. So uh, I'll be showing you all my favourites, what stands out to me, my favourite minifigures I've collected as part of the Harry Potter fiend. Uh, it can be a bit daunting at first if you're someone that's new to Lego collecting as if you're trying to plan ahead of what space you'll need, uh, how you'll lay it out, especially with the new Hogwarts modular system. Um, it can be quite confusing as you're not sure how you're meant to connect it all. Uh, but there isn't a right or wrong way on setting it up. It's literally just how creative you want to be and how you want to lay out your own Hogwarts. So I thought it would be nice just yeah, sharing my own tips and tricks on what to do. And hopefully you'll enjoy. So first things first, a nice quick overview of how I set up my Lego set so far. Uh, I've changed it in the last few months at different times, seeing how I could best make my setup for my YouTube channel. Uh, I have two shelves uh, that I put up on the wall for now, and that's the best way I've set up my Hogwarts modular system. What you'll find is if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of room space and you know you can't put a lot of tables on the ground, uh, using shelves taking up that wall space is your next greatest thing as you could just slip in so many small to medium sized sets getting drawers and cabinets just getting shelves that provide you with that space that's what helps me the most and just finishing it off having a nice work table in the middle that's how I've set up my lego station for now so my first set I'm going to show you is the Hungarian Horntail. This is one of my favourite sets I've purchased this year. Making it was so fun. Uh, just Lego did an outstanding job. I actually bought the Hungarian Horntail set for my birthday a few months back. And I love it. I love the Harry Potter minifigure. Just how he looks. The torso design. And just seeing the Horntail right behind him breathing fire. Uh, Lego did great. Comparing it to the the other previous models that we had of the, of the Hungarian horn tail, this is just in terms of size and detail, this is the best one. I love the wingspan. This yeah, I've had a, f a bit of trouble knowing where to put this because when you stretch the wings out, it's it looks quite big. That's just a really, really great set. I only purchased this one for £30. I love the nameplate. It's got the nice egg at the bottom here, uh, connecting it to this nice long piece that links with the broom, the fireball, holding Harry. Uh, I just love the tail. The tail's able to move. So if you're... It, it, luckily, if you're putting it into a corner, for example, you can lift the tail up. You can move the pieces. It's got this rounded pieces here i like the nice fabric of the wings the spikes on them it's, it's just so accurate i love the headpiece i think that's a little sticker on the eyes this is great the legs the good how i um set it up what how it's normally set up is you have a system here where if you rotate it the wings can move up and down but I wanted to keep them nice and high, so I actually locked it in. If you just put in a nice rod piece, you just lock it through the middle. That will lock the wings so you can have it, have a nice scene set up there. So moving on are my Hogwarts modular system sets, which look incredible. When you make it your own way and you just add the minifigures in, just showing those scenes, it just brings it to life. I just love how I've set mine up. You don't have to set up how Lego tells you to in their manual guides uh, because you need a really big table to set it up as like a big round castle format. I like how I've set it up in a nice long way so it just shows you every scene and the minifigures stand out with the different torsos. I love how each modular set just shows a different scene from one of the eight movies. So even if you do get the same characters, it's um, they stand out because they had they'll be from another movie. 
different torso prints, different hairstyles, maybe a different face. Uh, but yeah, so going from the start, we have the ride up entrance. Uh, that's where I put Argus Filch uh, with his lantern, just watching over the students and the castle with his angry face, looking out for any people breaking the rules. Uh, they put a nice um, broomstick pieces there in the corner. I believe that's what they are. Oh, I think they're even axe pieces, which weirdly came with one of the Hogwarts sets. Uh, here we have the Hogwarts greenhouse with the nice mandrakes there. Um, that's a nice thing. I need to get a minifigure uh, that matches with it. Either Professor Sprout or a nice Neville wearing the earmuffs. Uh, here we have the scene from the fourth movie showing the Yule Ball. I just love this because the torso prints are nice and colourful. So many colours, so many designs of the dress pieces. You see Madame Maxine there, Professor Flitwick, dressed for the occasion. Fleur. This is my favourite feature that they made for this scene. So if you turn this, just the base plate, it turns as well those white plates that the minifigures are on. So oh, it just brings that scene to life. Now this scene didn't come with Cho Chang, Padma and Parati. I had to buy them separately. And I wanted to just, to just add more characters to that scene. It's a nice Christmas vibe, nice Christmas tree in the background. They're just behind them. But I just love the torso prints on Cho and Cedric wearing the suit. Especially Ron's suit. That, that looks so good. The detail they've put in. Uh, this is two parties combined. So it's actually, uh, so it's next to the Astronomy Tower set. Which is, so that's from the sixth movie and it's showing the Slug Club. So two parties next to each other. This set was the clock tower set, which I'll show you later. But moving on, we have those nice red lantern pieces. That's part of the slug club. Got a nice Horace Slughorn character minifigure there, along with the chocolate fountain with those nice tasty waffles and cupcakes. You see a nice variation of a Ron Weasley with a green print torso. He is with lavender. And there's an angry Hermione watching over them with a Luna. And there's another one of Harry there in his sixth movie suit, which looks good. Moving up, we have the Astronomy Tower. Now this has three different rooms. Professor Slughorn's office with the nice green sticker of the hourglass there. They do have a limit on space, but for what they've made, it looks nice and cosy. You have a letter piece there and a cup and a nice green bottle of, at the back. Now, the Ravenclaw Tower is meant to be, uh, the Ravenclaw Common Room is meant to be in a separate tower. The Ravenclaw Tower and is separate from the Astronomy Tower. But as I said before, when Lego have limits, they have to compromise. But the Ravenclaw Tower looks so good common room with the beds, the Ravenclaw sticker print. My house is Ravenclaw and my favourite colour is blue so I do have a bit of favouritism here. I love the shelf, the blue pieces, I love that shade, looks so good. It's a bit hard to fit a minifigure in there so I just prefer leaving it empty. Would be nice to have a nice Luna in there and Cho. Here we have a this, the Astronomy Tower scene with Draco planning to kill Albus Dumbledore with his angry face print just hiding away in the shadows while the party is happening below. We see a nice telescope scene next to a star map. I just love the look of that. I love those gemstones at the front, the pink and the turquoise. It looks incredible. I just love how they made the tower itself. Lego did an incredible job. Moving on to our next set, we've got the 
Zuma of Requirement scene, one of my favourite sets, just in terms of its sheer size. That looks great. If you're lucky, you can get this for about nearly £30. I love the minifigures you get. It's actually missing Ron. So one thing I realised with Lego Harry Potter is if Lego have to choose two of the three main characters, they'll always exclude Ron. And I think that's probably to do with popularity. But getting Harry and Hermione, they look incredible. Here, the saving Draco from the out of control fan fire. I love that feature of the set where they're allowing you to just place di um, different parts of the fire dragon or fire snake, whatever it is. It looks good. I think that looks awesome how I've set it up. You can see the Horcrux that they're hunting there on the left, top of the chair, along with a nice Cornish pixie. This is exactly what a room of requirement should be, just random objects over the past years from different Hogwarts students. I love the length, uh, the height of it. Harry and Hermione with broomsticks trying to save them all. And we're lucky because we get the grey lady in this scene. Now sadly she doesn't glow in the dark like the new Saint Nicholas. But she looks incredible with her torso print. I just love that. I love the oval structure of the Room of Requirement Tower. It looks amazing. I'm not sure what that is behind her. I thought it was the QR code when I honestly uh, started building this, but it seems to be in some sort of important file. Um, but this is one of my favourite sets. And this is actually on top of another the set, which is the Chamber of Secrets set. It's the Polyjuice Potion Mistake. Can't re remember what the exact name is. Um, I'm not a big fan of this set. I mean, it's a small and cheerful set. You get a nice headpiece for Hermione, accidentally turning into a cat. There's just lack of space for the minifigures. This set also comes with Harry and Ron turning into Crab and Goyle. I've placed them elsewhere in my other sets. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't like... In concept, this is nice, but I wish they maybe should have tweaked it to perhaps entering the Chamber of Secrets. So we could have had a Lockhart and a Moaning Myrtle. That would have been better. That toilet on the left, just it just takes up a lot of room. You, you, you can't really put minifigures there because then you'll have to put that uh, the potion ingredients there as well. But it looks nice that I put the Room of Requirements set on top of that. So it just gives it that height. Moving on, we can actually see two new minifigures I bought recently, that's Arthur and Jenny Weasley. They look so incredible. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to collect the Weasley family. I'm not sure where to put these two yet, so they're just sort of here for now at the front. But let's go to the back here. This is the recent hospital wing set, which I just love. It's a nice small set. You can pick it up for around £30 mark if you're lucky. The best thing about this set is the Madame Pomfrey minifigure. That lovely white and cherry red design exactly from the movie. And I think this is the first time we've gotten the Madame Pomfrey. Uh, that headpiece looks great. I love the nice cheerful face print there. Just stands out. The big lantern piece it looks a bit massive that she's holding. But overall, it's a, it's a nice accessory. Uh, we can, if we're looking at the back, we can see Harry, Ron and Hermione. This scene is from the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. And it just looks so good. I love the little Bertie Bots, every flavour beans design. The nice skull potion at the back from the Chamber of Secrets. The different potion heads, that love heart, the green. Just looks so cool and awesome. I love the nice cherry red Ron Weasley torso on the... A Hermione jumper hoodie that she's wearing that looks bruised up. This scene looks so good. Just love that hospital wing. Um, above, depending on how you show it, from the outside you will see the clock tower at the top. Um, I've decided to put in two great minifigures, the Quidditch designs of Cedric and Draco. 
that Hufflepuff design looks so good. I love that. The broomstick and the snitch Cedric's holding. Looks awesome. Along with Draco. This is the small Draco from Chamber of Secrets. So it makes sense. It's got the small legs. Uh, the green. I love that dark green. I'm not sure why the Nimbus 2001 is green and not black. It's a bit strange having a green broomstick. But overall, with his sleek hair, it looks just incredible. Seeing that, going down to my three best minifigures is my three variations of Albus Dumbledore. They look so good. We got I got two Michael Gambon versions. One in uh, I believe that's a violet color, violet to magenta. I could be getting them wrong, but oh, it looks so good. And we can see a nice blue Dumbledore. Here, I like this blue one more, just the robes look a bit more magical with that sparkle. Holding a nice accessory, I believe that's the Pensieve. Um, next to them is the Richard Harris's version, which just stands out on his own. Looks so magical. Uh, what Chris Columbus did with the first two movies, you could just you just can't compare Richard Harris's version. He just stands out on his own. I love the headpiece and the lovely forks that's with him. A really nice Christmas vibe. Moving on to perhaps one of the best Lego Harry Potter themed sets, the Deathly Hallows Battle of Hogwarts scene. Now. Fans have been eagerly waiting for this top concept to be made by Lego. We all know that the Battle of Hogwarts scene, one of the best emotional scenes closing the final of the series. From the minifigures to the wand accessories to the structure, Lego did an outstanding job ma making this. The best part is the creativity that went, went into it. The breakable structure tops. Being able to tweak it from a courtyard to a bridge scene, just absolutely amazing. And when you make it your own, you can add your own minifigures. I've so I've got with Blatrix, Voldemort. I've got a Dementor, Death Eaters. Got Kingsley in. So recreating your own versus battles. Looks so good. I love the red and green shades of those spells. Being able to tackle that problem as well that this set did have with those pieces being top heavy. So they have to be on studs. That looks so incredible. Moving on to the next shelf now. The second half of my Hogwarts modular system. We have oh, perhaps one of my favourite ones, it's the potions scene from the first movie. This was actually part of the old Hogwarts modular system uh, that came out before, a few years back now, I think prior to 2020. I just had to get this set, I got it off eBay, I think I paid around £30 for it. From what you get, it is worth it, you get the entire Potions classroom with Snape's office comes with Seamus and Hermione. You get the lovely Gryffindor common room, comes with the driveway, along with the Whomping Willow and the Ford Anglia. Really worth it. I love the, the detail, the potion pieces, the greens, reds, blues, yellows. Just looks incredible. I love that newspaper print. Sorry, I meant this is the scene from the second movie, actually, Chamber of Secrets. Looks awesome. This is where I added Crab and Goyle. That's his name. Um, it's nice to have two Gryffindors and two Slytherins in this set. Again, those pieces, the, the gemstones look good. I love the stickers at the back. 
classroom is accurate at the top Gryffindor common room with the nice owl piece there was Hogwarts without the owls you can see the nice grey one in the background now this one isn't as big as the Ravenclaw common room in the other set but it's nice that they included it in here this is the set that also came with the Argus Filch on the left we have a part of a set that came with the clock tower this is Dumbledore's office now even though it's a small Dumbledore's office it's still got lots of accessories the pensieve lots of nice stickers around it we have a stickered forks shame we get a plain sword of Gryffindor it's not like the one we got with Neville just before with the gemstones it's nice that they've made a concept of Albus's office, Dumbledore's office it's called um, that was released, I'm hoping to get that one soon so to make huge improvements to this set as this just isn't enough to showcase his office below we have the prefects bathroom that looks quite good, it's got a nice window design there Moving on to here is the clock tower. Now, in terms of structure, the clock tower looks amazing. A lovely clock tower piece in the middle. I love the structure of it. Very accurate to the movie. Only shame is the inside of the of of the set. It's not a lot going on. It's three floors, including the ground floor. Ground floor has hardly anything showing. Um, the first floor is Professor Moody's classroom, but it doesn't have Professor Moody. I had to buy him separately. Uh, the top floor is the hospital wing. I just I just didn't think there was any point showing it, sh uh, showing the inside, having it standing up like that because I've, I've already got the hospital wing, the be uh, the better one on the other side. This looks better just staring at the structure like that. That's why I wanted to set it up. And that's the final look of all my Hogwarts modular sets so far. Hoping to expand it with the next year sets. Uh, but that's not all I have to show you. I've still got a few more sets on my shelf. Sets that are unique in their own way. This is the Graveyard Jewel remake. It looks incredible. Harry versus Voldemort with Peter in the background and Tom Riddle's grave oh, I just love this it's a nice small piece set easy to place and fit I just love the graveyard remake nice easter egg behind Voldemort there with the Deathly Hallows logo you'll notice I made a slight tweak with this set I added in those new wand accessories that came with the Battle of Hogwarts set luckily that set uh, came with spears so I just had to place them in here. Look how amazing that looks. Just recreating that scene from the fourth movie. Brilliant. And I've sort of merged the next set. All sort of have that same vibe in the forest. That is the Festral Carriageway with Luna and Harry over there. This is the Prisoner of Azkaban, Azkaban Serious Black Escape um, scene. Got Sirius and Harry here with the Dementor there, with the other Dementor flying here. Uh, that stag mold is incredible. I love this stag mold. That's one of the reasons why I had to buy this set. That nice shade of electric blue with the sparkle. I like the trees. And that's where I placed the Whomping Willow in the background with the Ford Anglia with Harry and Ron. I thought that would be a nice touch. So overall, it's got a nice look there towards the end of my shelf. And that is my Harry Potter collection so far. Hoping to expand it, buy new shelves, buy new cabinets, and see where my collection goes. 
my favorite would have to it's hard to choose a favor honestly because there's there's just so many great factors about each different sets the designs of all of them um i'll only collect sets that i think are worth it they are the odd few that just aren't or they don't really have much going in the set but yeah we'll see how it goes next year